My name is Paul Craddock and I'm a solutions engineer for Stratodesk. Uh, today I'd like to uh, walk through setting up a disk encryption for no touch OS endpoints. So first and foremost, a disk encryption is a premium add-on, so you must have licenses available to do this. But you can check to see if you have the correct licenses by going to resources and then licenses and searching for disk encryption. So how do we set this up? So firstly, what we need to do is we need to go into the group settings and add some licenses for the endpoints. So this can be done either directly onto a device uh, under licenses, but if you're gonna have um, a group of devices that you wanna apply licenses to, then we can apply it to this group specifically. So we can go to disk encryption, licenses, select disk encryption and click add. Likewise, if we wanted to limit the number of licenses that can be used in this group, then we can go to license limits, search for disk encryption, and say we're going to limit that to five devices. The next thing we need to do is we need to go into the group settings, then go to services and enable disk encryption. The second thing that we need to do is to choose the passphrase pass method. So there's two options. Number one is system, uh, and the second is input. Now, system will automatically apply uh, a disk encryption password um, so that the user doesn't have to uh, act with the device when it's booting, which is great. It does encrypt the uh, configuration portion of the drive. However, to make uh, it even more secure, and this would be particularly useful for devices that are maybe uh, on a USB key, laptops that have the potential to be lost or stolen uh, whilst in transit, then we can choose the input method. Now I have one device here, which is this machine, that we're going to apply those settings to. So what we need to do is we need to announce those changes to the endpoint. We'll wait for those changes to be applied, which should just take a few seconds, and we'll see that because the disk, so the, the screen will flash. There you go, so we know we've made that change. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to reboot the endpoint. Okay, so what's happening here is we're being asked to uh, specify the disk encryption password that we want to set. So now I've entered that information and no touch OS will boot to the desktop as normal. So here we can see now that we have access to our desktop again. So every, everything's been set. So what will happen now is the next time that the user reboots the device, it will ask them to input their password before it will boot to the OS. So this is pretty much simulating how BitLocker uh, would work. So firstly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter in the wrong password. So it knows that that was incorrect. So I get an opportunity to enter it again.
and there you go. So that's essentially how uh, disk encryption works. Um, so it's what we're doing is we're encrypting the configuration portion of the drive that contains the data. And secondly, we've added a boot password, which means that the NoTouch OS endpoint won't boot unless the uh, password has been added.